Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again, and I'm back with my episode 4 trailer breakdown. So, let's take a look at the trailer for episode 4 called Skidmark. Let's take a look. You have no idea what's going on here. Open the gate. Oh, my God. Weren't these things longer? I feel like they were longer, like 30 seconds. Now they're only like, what, 15 seconds now? Mm. Oh well. So anyways, let's get to the breakdown. First thing we have here is a little group of walkers, or a small horde I should say, going into what looks like a, a town. I gotta say that is a pretty cool looking car. Not too badly damaged for it being in the apocalypse and stuff like that. Like, it looks like, you know, uh, the uh, the hood is popped and stuff like that, but still in pretty good condition. So, anyways, uh, you know, we got this group of walkers coming into, you know, like I said, what looks like some sort of small town. Alright, so we have Daniel. Daniel is back in this episode. It looks like he's going to, I want to say like a supermarket by the looks of it. I don't know, it could be like a, a Walmart or something, I don't know. But either way, he looks like he's going into uh, some sort of store. I have no idea what his... I don't want to say, well, I guess objective or what his story is, you know, because the last time we saw him back in episode two, you know, he heard Luciana on the radio saying, we're in trouble, we need help. Strand was like, yes, see, they need help. And then Daniel was like, oh, yes, they do need help. Just not from you. So, is he going to go help them, or kind of seem like a vague, kind of like a vague answer? Yeah, they need help. Not from you, and not from me either. I don't feel like going. So I have no idea what his story, you know, is. Is he going to go help them? Even though they're gone by now, you know, they've already left their, you know, somewhere else. So who knows, you know, where they are. But, yeah, I have no idea what his story is. Okay, so we have Alicia and the little creepy children. Now, what is interesting is what they say to her. You have no idea what's going on here. You have no idea what is going on here. To me, it I don't I wonder if that is even the same scene okay no it is okay so there's someone else here uh, with Alicia so I'm guessing this is probably Morgan right here because I know sometimes they do like to you know trick you and deceive you and stuff like that so when I saw you know somebody else standing right here next to her, I was like is that the same scene but either way it is the same scene because he has you know the person standing next door uh, but either way you get the kids saying you have no idea what is going on here it kind of sounds like there's someone in the back you know like behind the curtain type of thing like you know I'm sure by now we probably want to like hope these kids die you know because they're the ones you know doing all the the walker um, the walker blockades and stuff like that I don't know if they're doing the heads or not I don't know if that's them doing the heads, but they're the ones doing, you know, the walker blockades. Now, when they say you have no idea what's going on here, like I said, it kind of makes me think like there's something going on behind the curtain. You know, it'd be like, oh, if, you know, Alicia killed these kids, then we find out, you know, someone else behind the scenes was pulling the strings all along. Like, maybe, let's say, for example, we know the helicopter people are in the area because you know they took Al we don't know how many of them there are you know we did see well one well there was two one of them was a walker somehow and the other one obviously not a walker so we have no idea how many there are is there only that one other one left or is there five ten of them we have no idea so anyways 
like if it is the helicopter people what if like say for example like they took those kids parents now they're holding them hostage now these kids have to do stuff you know to get their parents free like you need to bring us more people and if you do we'll let your parents go so you know what you know what i'm kind of getting at you know someone behind the curtain you know right now the kids are front and center doing all these creepy strange freaky things but it's actually somebody else you know kind of making them do this i don't know that's kind of what i get at when you know she's saying you have no idea what is going on here so something is going on what it is no idea uh, okay we got a plane and a very small person so i'm guessing this is charlie here open oh yeah i think that was her voice open the gate Trying to get her voice. On here. Yep. Open the gate. Okay, we got Strand, and we've got... I don't know, I can't remember her name. Truck driver lady. Uh, looks like it is Al's vehicle, so... I guess I was right at the end of episode two. Looks like Strand is going, getting Al's truck, and driving it... wherever. So, either way, I'm guessing... Maybe Strand went, met up with Charlie, and what's her name? Got Al's truck, went back to Daniel's place, and waited for him to leave. And now they're probably going to steal his plane. Again, that's what I'm guessing from the looks of it. Ah, oh, we got Skid Mark. <laughs> I like how he's just standing up there. Uh, this kind of looks like the same area that. Uh, that little walker herd was walking into so kind of looks like this part here is matched with This part right here kind of looks like it's in the same area uh, But either way we got skid mark there standing up on the window Lunch feed me eat kitty uh, Looks like Morgan is going back into Maybe the radio uh, yeah, for radio. Uh, radioactive area, because, you know, we got the, you know, the little bird cages up here. Although, these are pigeons. I think the other ones were, like, ravens or crows or something like that. I don't know, I can't tell the difference between ravens and crows. But either way, these are pigeons, so. And Morgan is still using his uh, makeshift staff, since, you know, he lost his. All right, we got Charlie here looking back. I'm guessing that's probably from, you know, one of these earlier things here. You know, probably when she went up to, you know, the plane here. You know, maybe that was her looking back like, I don't know. Yeah, the plane looks in working condition or something like that. All right, once again, we have, you know, a truck driver lady. We have Strand uncovering you know, the plane, so it looks like, I'm guessing he broke into Daniel's place and is going to be uh, stealing his plane. We have somebody crossing the road. <laughs> uh, not too sure who that is. It... I can't really tell who that is. It looks like somebody is wearing a helmet. I don't know if that's one of like the helicopter people. It's really hard to tell. There's a backpack on them. I can't tell, but it kind of looks like it could be, maybe, or this could just be somebody else. All right, so it looks like uh, you know the glass broke where Skid Mark was. The walkers. Somebody drops a gun. Looks like one of the children. You know, small shoe and stuff like that. So it looks like one of the kids drops the gun. I have no idea. That one was Wendell, right? Yeah, that was a Wendell. I have no idea. What the hell was he saying? What? Is that just me, or does that not make any sense at all? Uwanga? That's what it kind of sounds like he's saying. 
Uh, okay. I have no idea. It just sounds like he's mumbling, but uh, whatever. Uh, anyways, we have Al's truck back, uh, skidding along the street. So I'm guessing that's probably Strand. Uh, if we go back a little bit more, it looks like um, one of the walker blockades apparently comes free or something like that and tackles the girl. There's the other little kid, you know, trying to help her. So that is probably where the gun falls from. You know, this part right here. Yep. So there's a walker hand. You can kind of see some, like, guts hanging around it. So, okay, I'm guessing those two scenes there are mixed. You know, this walker here tackles the girl. Girl drops the gun. Um, and then, of course, you know, he's trying to help her up. We got Alicia and Morgan. I'm guessing maybe one of the kids. This is from earlier. I don't know. Maybe Morgan and Alicia are following the kids. Uh, we do know, you know, one of the kids has a gun. So maybe pops off a shot. And, you know, obviously Alicia and Morgan are going to hit the deck. Oh, no. Actually, it looks different. Looks like some sort of wind is blowing. Yeah. See, if you look very carefully, you can see like some of the leaves and stuff like that are blowing, so... Helicopter? Helicopter, maybe? Or maybe it's just wind, I don't know, but either way, uh, you can see some of the leaves and stuff like that, you know, blowing against them. And if it was just wind, why would they hit the deck? I don't know, so maybe the return of the helicopter. Uh, and then last thing we have is we have one of the kids here leading one of the walker blockades somewhere. And I think that's just a shot of Daniel. Uh, Daniel is Strand. Could be Strand. I don't know. Looks like the same road that the uh, that Al's truck was on that skidded. So unless unless Strand takes uh, Daniel's plane, Daniel then takes Al's truck and drives it somewhere. And I don't know. Maybe it breaks down or whatnot, and then he just starts, you know, walking. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine on that, but yeah, there we go. Looks like a, uh, I don't know, kind of interesting episode. You know, at least we're going to see Skidmark again, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what else is really going on, you know, um, what they mean by you have no idea what is going on here. Uh... I have no idea what that could mean. I just still think that, you know, there's someone uh, behind the scenes, you know, kind of pulling the strings and stuff like that, but there we go, there's Daniel. Uh, you know, someone else behind the scenes pulling the strings, that's just my guess, but I have no idea. Have to wait and see. But yep, there we go. Episode 4, Skidmark. So, Daniel's back, Strand is back, uh, Charlie's finally in an episode again, so is Wendell and Truck Driver Lady. Uh, so it looks like things are, you know, I guess kind of picking up. And maybe we'll see more of the helicopter people, maybe get more clues. Who knows, you know, with Morgan and Alicia hitting the deck, you know, why did they do that? Uh, we did see the wind blowing, so was it the helicopter flying? And, you know, that's why the wind and leaves were blowing at them and they hit the deck, because... It was flying low or something. I don't know. Who knows? But there we go. So there is one other thing. Uh, I'll cover this in a different video. But there is an article that is actually very interesting. It's from Forbes. I don't really usually agree with Forbes very often. You know, I did kind of think, you know, all their reviews and stuff like season 7 and 8 were pretty terrible and stuff like that you know oh so many bullets and blah 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 and they were nitpicking the crap out of it it's like i'm surprised i didn't see him you know deducting points off the episodes because you know oh i haven't seen anybody eating any food you know 
at all the entire season how are these people not dying of hunger you know how do they have the strength and energy i haven't seen them eat anything i'm surprised they didn't nitpick the crap out of that you know uh but this article here i do kind of agree with uh fear the walking dead literally killed what made it interesting so i will cover that in a different video but i do pretty much agree with um uh, with what they said in this in this article here, so I'll probably cover that in a different article. So, anyways, there we go. There is my trailer breakdown for episode four. Like I said, some pretty interesting stuff. I have to wait and see, you know, what happens if we learn more about the helicopter people or not. Who knows? But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Uh, remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And, of course, leave me your thoughts and comments. Uh, you know, what do you think they mean is you have no idea what is going on. What do you think Daniel's up to? Um, you know, just leave me your thoughts and comments. Love to hear what you guys think. And, other than that, stick around. More videos are on the way. And I'll see you guys next time.